Hey friends, for this demonstration, I want to feature Dixie Belle's whitewash glaze that I'll be applying to a half moon small table that I've already painted with chalk, mineral paint, rebel yellow color. This combination is such a lovely contrast to the top that I've used no paint gel stained espresso on. I'll also talk about tips on applying top coat satin to complete the project. It looks so great. Let's get right into this one together, shall we? So in this section, you're going to see that I'm simply just applying the second coat of Dixie Belle's Rebel Yellow to this project. I did this on the live not too long ago. But let's get right into the white wash product. The white wash product is so simple to apply. It's very thin, so you can work in a small section fairly easily. I'm using a one inch Dixie Belle brush. I think it's the flat small and I'm really just applying it really quickly. Notice I'm using a little turnstile that I like to use in my studio. This allows me to get to both sides of the piece. Just work your way in there knowing it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just getting it on there and in just a few minutes we're going to wipe it off. That's really the key. How much you wipe off is really up to you. Let me also remind you or let you know that you can either wipe off with a damp rag or with a dry rag. Sometimes you'll find that the dry rag takes off less product and might give you a little bit more of a lighter project. I like the damp rag just simply because it typically allows me to remove more of the glaze than typically not removed. Hope that makes sense. But here I am using a damp rag to wipe it off. I'm, not, I'm doing my best not to remove the glaze in all the um, horizontal gaps and cracks and crevices. I really want to keep it there. So most of my mov movement is parallel with the piece as opposed to getting into the grooves and all the cracks. You do want the, the glaze to be there after all. That's why we put it there. We want to just soften the tone of the paint. This can be done on any color of Dixie Bell. Of course, the lighter the color, the less of the glaze you're going to see. Of course, if you put it on caviar or something really dark, it's going to be really strong. And that could be a good thing too. And I've done in all kinds of values. And I'm working on one post at a time. Here's a close up of that post that we finished. Of course, I'm going to work each different post. And just so you know, I took the top of this piece off so that when I painted the legs, I didn't get paint on the bottom of the top. It is an antique piece. All the screws are flat head and it's constructed in such a way that it's definitely not a modern one. You can go back and look at the before picture at the beginning of this video and kind of see the before and after. It just helped me a lot to not have to tape off any of the lid and I just really work so much faster this way. You can't always do that with these tables but because I could take them off with the screws I thought it was a great idea to do that. And everything that I did with paint and glaze none of it got on the bottom of the piece. After letting the whitewash glaze dry for a day or two, I switched to Dixie Belle's Top Coat Satin using the same size small flat brush as I did with the whitewash glaze. I'm just simply painting it on, painting, applying, and looking for anything like drips. So just be careful to make sure that you're being nice and neat with that. Then I switch to Dixie Belle's foam brush and I'm using in this video the same satin top coat but I'm using the foam brush to apply it to the edge. This could be done with the same brush but the foam brush does a really nice job actually and I just work my way around. I'm holding it maybe a little awkwardly because I'm trying to show it on the camera but you can do it on the flat surface if you want and I'm just simply brushing it on making sure that I don't have any drips or extra thick sections. And then I'm going to switch to the top. The top is a lot easier than the side because you just want to make sure you apply enough product. Left and right, smooth it out, but make sure you're not removing product. You're basically just light touch. After all, you're applying top coat. and If you wipe it all off, you're kind of defeating the purpose. I only did one coat of top coat satin. And then before I was done, I used Dixie Belle's Gator Hide to finish it all out. And I think it looked stunning. I love the light satin feel to the top. And the base with the top coat really brought out 
the soft tones of the whitewash glaze on the rebel yellow. I'd love to hear what you think about this project. I love the before and after. It really is quite the contrast. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to turn on your notifications to get notified when we post. Thanks for watching.